Hey guys, what's going on? It's Hugo here. Welcome back to another video. Can I take this off? Like, you're not gonna catch anything through the camera, okay? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take this off. Just bear with me. There we go. Hey guys. So I just want to explain what's happened in the past week. I feel like I need to make this video. I feel like a lot of you guys waited on me to make this video. And the last couple of videos you've seen of me, I was pre-COVID. I started showing symptoms and if you can tell, I was feeling rough. Now, bear with me on this video because I still feel really unwell. I still feel really, really like exhausted and just really run down. I should probably still be in bed, but you guys like, yeah, I feel like I really need to update you guys. Every bit of my body feels like it's not real. Every bit of my body feels like it's just not here with me. I feel like I'm literally in a different dementia right now. I, I look and I feel dead. I just feel like I really need to explain to you guys how COVID affected me, what COVID felt like and how it made me feel in general and my whole process of finding out I had it to the point of now. I am not fully recovered. I'm still in isolation. The whole household is still in isolation. I'm still not 100%. I still feel very unwell. My temperature is still up and down. Um, my chest is still taking a toll and everything. I'm struggling to breathe and I feel like I'm being suffocated a lot. And my head just feels so heavy. Like, I'll go to pick something up off the floor and I physically can't because my head just feels like it's gonna blow up, if that makes sense. But a couple of you guys have asked me to make a video on explaining how I found out I had COVID and how I felt during COVID coronavirus. So I'm just gonna run through my symptoms, run through my day to day on how I was feeling every day and just update you guys and everything. So before I found out I had COVID, I felt like I had a cold. In the beginning, the first like two days of my symptoms, the videos that you've seen when I was smothering with a cold, please bear with me. I am not doing okay. I feel really, really unwell right now. No, I have not got COVID. I have just got a cold in general. I generally thought I just had a cold because my symptoms are so similar to the general cold that it didn't, I didn't have a cough. I didn't have a, um, I did have a sore throat. I didn't have a bad chest. I didn't really lose my sense of smell or taste until a couple of days later so my symptoms weren't adding up to coronavirus it wasn't until the Saturday so the first two days of the Thursday and the Friday they are the days that I felt like utter crap they are the days that I recorded the videos that you see the Saturday I woke up and I felt like I've just been hit by a bus like it was the worst feeling in my entire life I couldn't smell okay that is when I knew to panic because my sense of smell it was late Saturday night it was in the evening Saturday night when my sense of smell went and honestly like it just disappeared I couldn't smell nothing my taste thankfully stayed it just minimized it like I could like it, it almost muted my my taste so yeah the Saturday I was wasn't doing good I woke up feeling really 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 tired really run down my temperature was to the point where I was sweating with temperature like I couldn't breathe because of the temperature I just wasn't doing good at all so on the Sunday we booked a test for the Monday Sunday again I I was I can't really remember Sunday I was I was just out of it guys I was just not doing good at all I was really really unwell the Monday I went for a test last time this is all day long Yeah. This is your receipt, lovely, with a number at the bottom. So if you don't hear within 70, ten at the throat first and then ten up the nose and all over and done with, all right, my right. lovely? Say, ah, uh, ah, uh, two, three, four, ah. Uh, sorry, my gloves are getting caught. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Just up the nose now and I, you may go. I've just got back from my COVID test because I literally feel like death. I have a constant, constant high temperature that no matter what I do, paracetamol or anything, it's just not coming down. But I can't smell nothing. Like I bought a load of sprays the other day and like, I just can't smell nothing at all. Like, and then on the Tuesday, it came back positive. And honestly, I was, I wasn't convinced. I was like, wow, that, you know, I'm really, really unsure that that was, I, I, it doesn't, no, I wasn't convinced. I wasn't convinced, but obviously, yeah, 
I tested positive for coronavirus. How I got it, I have no idea. I don't go out much. I, if you know me, you know that I don't go out much. I go to work. I could have caught it from work, but the last time I was in work was a week ago. On the <coughs> Tuesday, I was literally in and out of conscience. I was sleeping. I, lit I I can't remember Tuesday. I just slept the whole day. I think I watched managed to watch like half a Cars. I remember putting Cars on. Um, I remember watching half of it, and that was it. I just... I didn't eat at all Tuesday. I did. I was just drunk and drunk and drunk. I'd be so thirsty. Um, Tuesday, Monday actually. I remember on Monday, my face, my everything just started going dry. By the Tuesday, everything was just complete and utter dry. Like I wasn't sneezing. I've been sneezing like five days. It's it's weird, but my whole nose, like here, here, my eyes were dry to the point where they were itching and they were like. They were sore, okay, that's the only, th before they went dry, they were streaming, my eyes were just constantly streaming. Wednesday, how was I feeling Wednesday? I don't know, I, I can't remember. I feel ill, just put it that way guys, I feel ill. I haven't eaten properly in like four days, I feel so weak, I feel so drained. I just want to sleep, that's all I want to do is sleep. But when I'm sleeping, I'm getting a temperature, so I'm waking up with a temperature and like, Delirious, being delirious and whatever. My head hurts so much, like my head really hurts. My neck hurts all here, like it's my glands. I feel so weak, like literally, like lifting my arms and stuff like that. What the hell? I don't even know. Like I really don't even know. Like my lips are so dry, guys. Like I feel ill, like. I've I've been ill in the past. I've been I've had like tons of multiple illnesses, but this one is like I don't know. It's just something else. It's just the way it's made me feel. I feel so weak. I honestly like I don't know. Honestly, I can't remember much because I was sleeping most of the days. Like I think Friday I started to feel a bit normal again. Friday I started like perking up a little bit, but I just wasn't myself. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling much better than where I was. Um, I'm looking better as well, to be honest with you. Like, my bags under my eyes have been so bad. Like, really bad. I'm not doing good. I think I am, but really, in, like, reality, like, I'm not still not doing good. I've, I'm... I don't know. Peace, guys. I love you all. <laughs> Thank you for the support. Mo like, some of my symptoms calmed down. I'd say that I, I was able to stay awake longer. I managed to eat a little bit of food. I was coming around, but then as soon as it hit like one o'clock in the afternoon, I was just out as again. Like the morning, I wake up in the morning, I'd feel okay. And then by like one o'clock, I was just done again, guys. I was just back in bed. I just couldn't do anything. I think I managed to record or edit a video that day. I don't know, I uploaded a video sometimes this weekend, like two times this weekend. And I didn't even know when I edited them, guys. I know I uploaded one last night. Saturday, I woke up feeling a little bit better. I don't even know what day I'm on anymore. <coughs> I feel like so. I feel like crap. I just, I just cannot wait to be to get up and have a, a nice bath. I've had showers, but I'm literally in and out because I'm just standing the shimmer. Thankfully, my boyfriend's there to like help me because he's there with a towel and a blanket straight away because I just get so damn cold. It's ridiculous. It seriously knocks you for a million and. I look so rough, like, this is the roughest you guys would probably ever see me on YouTube. See you all in a bit, guys. Today, <clears throat> I woke up feeling a little bit better, enough to be able to sit up and edit the video and eat a little bit. Today, I've managed to literally straighten my hair. You can't really explain how you feel because you just don't remember. Like, I literally just don't remember how I felt, but I know that I felt the worst I've ever felt in my life. How I'm doing now, mm, I still feel really, 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 like, not myself. I'm still, like, I'm not 100%. Like, my head, all day, like, I've struggled to pick stuff off the floor because my head has felt so weirdly dizzy and it hurts, it feels so heavy, it's weird. No one, thankfully, has showed any symptoms in the house, it's just been me who's had it. It's it's definitely a weird, weird, weird flu. Um, I've had this, like, right here on my back and on my side right here, like, going right here. 
So from here to like here, this whole side, it's felt very uncomfortable. Um, I've had like an ache there, if that makes sense. It's like the weirdest ache ever, but it's there. I haven't really had a cough. I've definitely had to clear my throat a lot more. I've definitely like needed to cough a lot more. I just haven't been coughing. Like <clears throat> I'll do that. That's it. Like before I done this video, I felt almost okay, but now I'm doing it. The more I speak, the more I'm feeling like ugh. I don't know. It's weird. The worst thing about it is definitely the fact that <coughs> <coughs> that that's how I'll cough. That's literally the cough that I've got. I think the worst thing about it is the fact that you feel, start to feel better and then you just feel like utter crap. I'm honestly so grateful for my family and my friends who has like checked in on me the last week, made sure I've got everything I need, made sure I'm alive, made sure I'm like doing okay and I thank you all so much for your support. I Your support is unreal. The amount of people who have wished me well. Um, I've had Snapchats, people commenting on my videos, people commenting on my um, my posts, people put messaging me on Instagram. Like this, oh, Coronavirus is definitely real and coronavirus is definitely friggin disgusting and it definitely friggin hurts. Okay guys, I gotta go. I am friggin sweating right now. I am so hot and... I need to go guys. I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. It's been your girl. Please stay safe. I friggin- oh my god, I've never looked so disgusting in my life. Bye guys. So this is about like 20 minutes after making that video that you've just seen. My lips are so dry. And um... Yeah, well, my chest feels like I have someone laying on top of me. Um, <laughs> I, I'm i struggling to breathe, literally. Like, I literally feel like someone is laying on top of me right now. Um, my throat is just dry. Everything's just hurting and drying and up, and I just don't like it. I just want to be better now. I honestly just don't like it at all. Like, this is horrible. I just literally want to be better. Um, so I'm going to say this mid video that I made... I had a lot of effort put into it because this is how I'm feeling 20 minutes after making this video and I, it's not doing, I'm not doing good at all. Please, just someone save me, please. Um, yeah. Enjoy.